Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the envelope of the given straight line whose equation is x by a plus y by b equal to 1, where a and b are related by the equation a power n plus b power n equal to c power n. As a first part, we are going to take what is b power n from the given relation. b power n is c power n minus a power n. And from this, b is c power n minus a power n whole power 1 by n. This, when I substitute in the straight line, we get x by a plus y by c power n minus a power n whole power 1 by n equal to 1. Let's keep this as our first equation and we are going to differentiate this first equation with respect to the constant a. Now x is a constant, 1 by a differentiation is minus 1 by a square. In the same way, y is a constant and this term when taken to the numerator, it is c power n minus a power n whole power minus 1 by n. When we differentiate this using x power n formula, minus 1 by m, c power n minus a power n whole power minus 1 by n minus 1. Then again by chain rule, this term we have to differentiate. c is a constant, so it is 0. But minus n a power n minus 1 will come for the differentiation of a power n. And on the other side, it is 0. And here, it is with the product. Now, both this minus gets cancelled and even n gets cancelled. Now this is minus x by a square equal to, we shall take this term to the other side. So minus y c power n minus a power n whole power minus 1 by n minus 1 and a power n minus 1. Now we shall cancel these two minus and this a power n minus 1, we shall take the, to the denominator of the other side. So, this is x by a square into a power n minus 1, which is equal to y. This power, we are going to split into two parts, c power n minus a power n whole power minus 1 by n and c power n minus a power n whole power minus 1. So, this term we shall take to the denominator with the positive sign and even this. So totally this is x by, when I combine the power, it is a power n plus 1. So this I have to split again but before that let us take this term to the denominator c power n minus a power n whole power 1 by n, c power n minus a power n. So, this part alone, I am going to rewrite it as a power m into a because we have to use a ratio property. So, x by a, then whole division a power m because this will become a product of a power n into a and finally it is equal to a power n plus 1. So, a power n plus 1 is for clear understanding, it is better. I will write one extra step. Then I continue the ratio property. This is x by a power m into a. And these terms you have to write as it is. That is c power m minus a power m whole power 1 by m c power m minus a power m. Now we need entirely this term so that we can replace it as 1 from this equation. So, I need x by a. So, I have to take this as x by a then by a power n. Again, this is y by c power n minus a power n whole power 1 by n whole division c power n minus a power n. So, I have just rewritten this ratio, this fraction as like this. Using the ratio property, 
I'm going to add all the numerator that is x by a plus y by c power n minus a power n whole power 1 by m. The same way when I add the denominator this becomes a power n plus c power n minus a power n and these two gets cancelled and numerator becomes 1. Now this is x by once again we can re rewrite this as a power n plus 1 and this is y by c power n minus a power n whole power 1 by n plus 1 because it is actually sum of these two power is 1 by n and 1 and here the numerator is 1 from the equation 1 and denominator is c power n. Now from here we take the first and the last term that gives x by a power n plus 1 equal to 1 by c power n. When we cross multiply a power n plus 1 becomes x into c power n and a becomes x into c power n whole power this power n plus 1 becomes n plus 1 is a reciprocal. In the same way when we have y by c power n minus a power n whole power this if I take LCM it is n plus 1 by n which is equal to 1 by c power n when we cross multiply c power n minus a power n whole power n plus 1 by n equal to y into c power n and then we need c power n minus a power n and that gives y into c power n whole power this becomes the reciprocal power n by n plus 1. Now we got these two terms expression that is a and this. So this we are going to use it in the original relation that is a power n plus b power n equal to c power n. This is what we had and our line equation is x by a plus y by b but in place of b we had c power n minus a power n whole power 1 by n equal to 1. So in these two places we are going to substitute a and c power n minus a power n. So this is x by a is x into c power n x into c power n the whole power 1 by n plus 1 as a power. In the same way here y by this is y into c power n whole power n by n plus 1 but this is already having the power 1 by n. So for this power 1 by n equal to 1. So we can cancel these two because this will become a product and now we can combine the powers. This is x by x power 1 by n plus 1 c power n by n plus 1. I am putting each part. In the same way this is y by y power 1 by n plus 1 into c power n by n plus 1 equal to 1. Here we can keep x term and y term alone on one side. We can take common 1 by c power n by n plus 1. So this becomes y by y power 1 by n plus 1 that is equal to 1 here and this common term can be taken to the other side but the rest of the term this is x power 1 this numerator and this is x power minus 1 by n plus 1. The same way this is y power 1 into y power minus 1 by n plus 1 which is equal to 
c power n by n plus 1. We can combine the power that is 1 minus 1 by n plus 1 by taking LCM. LCM is n plus 1. So n plus 1 minus 1. We can cancel this. So this is x power n by n plus 1 plus y power n by n plus 1 equal to c power n by n plus 1. This is the required equation of envelope.